and get your kiss on. Look what we got today. <laughs> nice. Thank you to the military for giving us this food. All right, so it is day two of quarantine. That's what it looks like outside. Hey, what's up, my quesadillas? Today is day three. Uh, oh, what's up, Mochi? Mochi's just vibing right here. The military hooked us up with some food and then on cooked it even more. Thank you, Hermana. Hey, Kay, do you know where my charger is? I was trying to, what the, f oh. what are you doing? You're so bad at acting. <laughs> What do we got today? 100% apple juice. Got some Rice Krispie treats, all right. Wait a minute. Mine's scrambled. I want a scrambled No, bread. I don't like carboda eggs. What? Oof. Day four is dinner. Ooh, okay. Got some rice, got a steak. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, we got a hot potato. This ain't too shabby. So it's day five, or it's day four of quarantine past couple days have been pretty good like my whole family we set up a little routine and then we've been dancing every day after dinner i have no idea why it's <laughs> i've been learning to play the ocarina my goal is to be able to play a song by the end of quarantine we'll see if i can do that i've been writing a lot i got a bunch of journals here yeah it's been good it's been going it's been, it's been pretty, it's been you, you, you could, you do Pretty productive Am I looking okay by the way? Yeah, I think I look fine, okay You're ugly And he didn't even slide up No To say I'm pretty or something Like he usually does Well he probably thinks that you're posting on your story Cause you're a big ol' hoe And to attract other guys Cause if you want him to call you pretty Why don't you just send him the picture personally? I do send him pictures, and he doesn't say anything. You send him pictures personally, and he doesn't say anything? Yeah, that's what he does. Really? Yeah, I sent him a picture of me on the ambulance, and he didn't say anything. Okay, did you send him those those uh, beach pictures with your booty hanging out? Nah. No, you posted all on your story, right? Yeah. Exactly. No I, no, I actually sent to him before first. Oh, okay. Huh. So today for dinner, we got some ground beef with corn. Mmm. Got some mashed potatoes. Green beans. Mmm. Got some chicken. Got a meatball. I oh. guess I'm crying myself oh, we got a... tonight. Oh, okay. We got a pepper here. Take it to every party. I miss Addy boy. Uh huh. Whoa, he almost hit the camera. Oh, <laughs> my bad. All right, well, you can uh, feel the vibes with this song then. So I've been practicing this for five days now. I can almost play it with the video. I just want to like be out with my friends in Shibuya or something. If the situation arises, if need be, I could just pull this out and be like, it might come in handy one day. Okay. Are he's the one making all these promises. And he's the one that wanted to keep going as long as it's I've ever died on the plane. And then after he's just like, no, I want to spend the rest of my like, make up your goddamn mind. And I told you, right? I told you that if he brings up, he, you know? Yeah, no, Why literally. would I want someone with an undecisive guy who doesn't even know? Literally. If you really love someone, you should know that you just want to be with them. Exactly, this is not meant to be anyway. Man, this is just too funny. <laughs> Let's remember the universal rule here. If a guy breaks your heart, he has a small penis. <laughs> so... It's all, say it with me, folks. Has a small penis. <laughs> Though, what makes me mad is that, like, five days ago, he's simping, saying, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I love you so much. I, right? I want to do this long distance with you. He's the one that thought, I'm not going to do this long distance. And then he says, oh, I'm going to do, I want to do long distance. And then five days later, all of a sudden, no. New beginnings are often 
disguised as tragic endings. That was a quote I read yesterday. So this is not the end. This is just a new beginning. Let's just enjoy this story. Let's be grateful that we have this drama to entertain us here. Yeah, I was so bored. We were bored as fucking quarantine, just sitting here doing nothing. Now and now, now we got some stuff to ponder on. Now we got some stuff to motivate us. Yeah, this is what I needed. This is literally huge for you, one. This is amazing. Yeah. Now you're in Japan, no free. strings attached. Yeah. You're free now. You can literally do whatever you want. This is great. Hey, but this is not about finding another guy to replace this guy. It's just going to be a cycle. So use this to really grow yourself. If this is not going to motivate you to, to grow or do anything, what the fuck is? This is a tool right here. This emotional, it's not very common where you're, you, you are taken to an emotional place like this. But that is power. You see that? This emotion right here, that is power. That is energy. Let's harness this energy and use it to grow. Hey guys, I just got accepted to my first college. I got accepted to Regent University. <laughs> Congratulations, it is our pleasure to inform you that you have been granted conditional acceptance into the. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. <laughs> I've been granted conditional acceptance to the AS. Oh, wait, associates? Associates sector? I don't know. Well, in now, psychology program. Really work out in psychology program at Regent University, your acceptance will remain conditional to your copy. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta make a TikTok. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! I applied to so many colleges. I mean, maybe not that much, but I've never been accepted before. I don't think they even really care about your grades or like. It's not. It's not hard to get into. I think anyone can get into if you just pay, but but still, I got it. I did it. Right now. I don't know why. Maybe I'll feel it later. <sighs> I did it. I always had bad grades. The people who go to college, they always told me to educate myself. Maybe because I don't know about the world, or, or maybe because I'm not. I don't see things in their point of view. So I always told to self-educate, and and I always. And I, and I do, I'm always trying to uh, learn on YouTube and just, and just learning things on the computer. But <laughs> this is my first college. This is my first time getting into college. <laughs> You don't understand. After like 10 times. This is like after getting denied like 10 times. You did it. I did, did it. it. I did it. I did it. This is my first time. I, I can I really educate myself. It's like a Christian university. I'm not, I'm not even Christian, but no, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, God, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay, but the thing is, like, I'm feeling my hopes up. You're the one that did this. I was feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm feeling good. <laughs> She's feeling good. <laughs> oh God. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I did it. And then I, and I, I did it. I showed my dad that email, and 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 he and he and he said, "Congratulations!" 
<laughs> he gave me a high five. And there's other schools that I, I, I might be able to get accepted to too. So it's just, it's like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a college kid. I'm, I'm a, I'm a educated man. <laughs> I'm an educated individual. I'm 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 smart. I'm smart. I'm finally smart. I'm smart now. Now, when people tell me to self-educate. I can tell them I I am <laughs> Bitch I'm just kidding An educated person wouldn't say that They would say buffoon I'm gonna get a degree I'm gonna get I'm gonna be a psychologist <laughs> I'm gonna be a psychologist <laughs> that doesn't even seem real. <laughs> I'm gonna be a psychologist. <laughs> but a psychologist wouldn't cry. A psychologist is the one who observes the one crying. I'm a psychologist. If I go to this college, I'm gonna be a psychologist. If I get accepted to the University of Maryland, that's a Japanese major, so I'll be a, a Japanologist. That doesn't sound as cool as psychologist, but if I do get accepted into the University of Maryland, that's where I'm gonna go. Yeah. But I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. If I could have options, I would be, oh, like, I'll be real. I'll be a real, a real, a real man of the society. I remember when I was a little kid, I always wanted to be smart. I always wanted to be like the smart kid with glasses. And I wanted to be the one in the corner of the room which gives an interesting observation. And I always wanted to do that. But then I grew up and everyone got smarter than me. And then and everyone would, would call me dumb or stupid as a joke and I, it's funny. I thought it was funny. Like I was I was okay with being the dumb kid. Like I, I like that role. I like playing that role. But but I didn't want to always be that dumb kid. Now I can change. Um, um, I can be just as smart as everyone else. My my name, the Chinese character, the kanji, it means wise. And when I tell people that, they would laugh. And, and as much as I would laugh too, I wanted to be wise. I wanted to be really wise. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm getting so emotional. Half of it's acting, half of it's real. Sorry, my camera died.
Man, yeah, sorry, I'm being so emotional. Just everyone in my life always makes jokes. They always say, "Oh, you're you're dumb, you're stupid," and it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. It really is funny. I actually enjoy those jokes, but I just felt like there was a tinge of truth in there. And when I when when I think about it, it makes me sad. But now I can really enjoy those jokes. Don't like you guys can call me stupid now and call me dumb. Like it's funny, it's funny. I like being the butt of the joke, and and but now I enjoy it even more because now I can't even take it seriously. Now it's really a joke because, because I know I'm not dumb. I know I'm not. I'm not. I knew I was a little smart. Like I remember when we did around the world in elementary school, sometimes I would make it through like half the class into like the smartest kid in the room beat me. But like, I know I would, you know, I put up a fight. I put up an intellectual fight. <laughs> I was a psychologist. Hey, what's up, my quesos? Yes, that is my new nickname for you guys. Why did I just turn British all of a sudden? But yeah, that's my new nickname for y'all. Because you guys are the views, you know? You guys watch this, so... And views is the money, so essentially... You guys are the cheese. Y'all are the quesos. So, what's up, quesos? Not that I see, only see you as money, but... I mean, I don't even see you all as money at all, honestly. I don't even, like, think about it like that. I, I kind of figured out that if I just focus on the fun first, if I focus on my heart and my desires first, I believe that the, the money and everything will fall into place, so... I, I really... I don't know you personally, but I, I care about you, okay? I got a whole lot of love in my heart. I learned that if you really want to love yourself, you gotta love love everyone you kind of have to love everything everything is connected so you know when you hate you're kind of hating on yourself a little bit that hate belongs to you so that hate is is toxic to you you know so yeah i love y'all i love what i do i love this anyway so at first i was gonna make two videos for quarantine week one and week two but even just week one turns out to be really long so i'm gonna cut up this video into two parts just so i could get it out for you guys so yeah the next video is gonna be a part two to this video thank you guys for watching i'm really happy to be active again i'm, I'm just having fun i'm just i'm enjoying this a lot editing is still kind of a pain in the ass but seeing the finished product and then seeing all your guys' comments is extremely rewarding so thank you guys for watching i got so many ideas so many bangers coming out make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when i upload and i like chimichangas shall we